welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a collaboration between WayForward and Arc System Works as they tag team in bringing you one of the most refreshing brawlers I have played in a very long time, River City Girls. River City Girls was developed by WayForward and released by Arc System Works in 2019 using the Unity engine. This brawler beat em up side scroller is virtually on every gaming console besides Apple and Android, so there is no reason not to take a look. The game takes mini cubes from the original River City Ransom on the original Nintendo Entertainment System in 1989. Instead of having the main characters of Kunio and Riki lead this one, they are seemingly kidnapped and will need help in rescuing. Girlfriends Misako and Kyoko begin their journey in searching the entire city and beating everyone in their way for information until they find them. A very simple story as they try to search blindly for their boyfriends, they meet people from school and journey to uncover side stories displayed in manga comic book style about characters that although have nothing to do with the story really makes the game that much more whimsical and that much more fun. Relax. I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were. A long time ago. What's happening? <sighs> it's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada! We were just kids then. I was ten years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Just like the Nintendo original, you are able to travel almost anywhere in the city back and forth until you progress the storyline opening more Come paths on. to the city. You don't have to stay in one area unless you face a boss or have chains that have locks around the screen indicating that you must defeat everyone before moving on. As you progress through the city and beat up all the enemies, they will leave money for you to spend. There are many shops to purchase power-ups, food, for health and more special moves from the dojo to learn. Each store has their own perks that will help you stay alive and you definitely want to stay alive. Even though it may seem that there are infinite number of continues, you will lose just about $150 in each continue that can be spent elsewhere. In the beginning, progression seems slow as you fight your way through the school, escaping into exploring the city. With some RPG elements, You'll begin to get stronger and gain more abilities as you start to level up, gain more money, and equipping yourself with dynamic power-ups that will make combat feel a lot more fun than just fighting. Sometimes I would get lost in creating the perfect fighter then progressing throughout the storyline. After the storyline is complete, you are given the opportunity to play the story again at a harder level with the same stats. You can also fight as boyfriends Kunio and Riki to fight as well to have both unique combos and other fighting styles themselves. Next message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? To find out who sent us that text? Oh yeah! It says, uh, blocked collar. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course it would be blocked. The combat does seem hard at first, but becomes extremely hectic as many opponents attacking on screen will have you using your dojo paid special moves incorporated into your combos frequently. Special moves take portions of the green stamina bar, but refills quickly through normal fighting. You can also recruit enemies if they look like they're giving up and to join your gang. They will be able to jump in and fight for you with their own special move. The visuals look to be 16-bit reincarnate with very smooth animations and looks and plays wonderfully with witty and whimsical dialogue and writing. The game is short with about 4-6 to six hour playthrough depending on how much exploration you do but does have replay value with added characters once you beat the game as well as improving your character to be the perfect fighter. 
this game came in as an absolute gem of a brawler that is such a huge surprise. Resurrecting the style from the original Nintendo version, River City Girls takes that to the next level. River City Girls gets an 8.5 out of 10 for bringing back a great nostalgic fighter that hasn't lost a beat with its updated fighting system, storyline, and just a fantastic presentation overall. A great, well done game that should be a part of everyone's console's fighting beat em up library. That's it for me on this episode on River City Girls. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Here, we got your dumb keys. They are smelly, and now we are too! Sweet, thanks! But, uh, these aren't my keys. What? We got them from trash zombies! Nah, my keys are blue and have a keychain that says WICKED! But no biggie, turns out they were in my pocket the whole time. What? Funny, right? I got zombie brains in my mouth! On purpose? Damn.